a story about a wedding that happened. So basically, I was, there was this guy, we were at a wedding reception, and then we were gonna go down and eat food, food and stuff. So, me and my sister are just chilling, cause it's in the forest, and we're just chilling around, we're playing around goofing. And, um, this guy comes up to us, and he says, hey, um, what's your name? My name is, let's just call him Bob. My name is Bob. And I said, so he shook my hand, and I said, hi, my name, my name is Monk Cat. So, after that, then she went up to my sister's, and she said, hey, <clears throat> what's your name? My name is Bob, and she said, my name is Drama Queen. We'll just call her Drama Queen, because that's what she wants to be called, I'm pretty sure. If she doesn't want to be called that, I'm sorry for calling her Drama Queen. Now, after that, he goes away, and we don't talk to him for a while. Now, we get down to where we would eat food and everything at the wedding. Now, her mom is, was a DJ. She was jamming out. There wasn't that many people dancing, but that's besides the point. Now, we were going to stay till like 11 or 10, but we decided to leave because everybody left before that. <clears throat> so, we went up to this hill before we left. And this guy came up, and he said that somebody wanted to talk to my sister. And my sister was like, who does it So, this guy talks to him, and he's like, I forgot your name, what is it? And she said... My name is Drama Queen. Now, after that, after all that happens, um, we go to a higher hill, and my sister goes somewhere, and the guy whispers into my ear, how do I say to kiss her? And I said, I don't know. I just said, kiss her. So she said, she came back, and she was like, and we were like, nothing, we weren't talking about anything. He sat down, and he said, I don't know how I'm going to phrase this. And I said something was going down, and she knew something was going down, because we kind of gave it her a hint a while ago, before, or not a while ago, but a little bit before that. He said, um, my sister said that her hair looks bad today, but then he said that um, it looks fine to me. So that was one hint that he had a crush on her. Now, after that, after we sat down, he said, he said to himself, I should stop being a chicken. And he said, do you want to kiss me? Now, sat, not, not, now, my sister rejected and said no. She's, she, she's sad that he kind of, she, she kind of hurts her feelings. But, I'm, it's fine. Because she said, after she said to me to, to tell him to say, um, said to tell me that I should that um she said to me um <clears throat> tell him this is from her tell him that um maybe in a few years time so I went up to him I called his name and he came down and I said maybe in a few years time that's what she said and then we walked back down down the hill and we left and that was the end of the crazy drama story that kind of happened at the wedding. Overall, it was fun. We were dancing, eating food. It was fun, but we left early, and we the reason we didn't want to leave early is because we met him, and we needed to talk to him more, because he was a nice, he was a really nice guy. He was actually a gentleman, but she just said no, because first of all, she's probably, she's not old enough to have a boyfriend, or like a date or anything. And also, I just, she's just not, she's too young to kiss anybody. So that was the crazy story that happened. And, well, nothing, it's kind of, kind of insane that we moved through and it was, yeah. Now, she, this is a couple, she told me that maybe she would do it in a few years time because she needs to get to know him and i understand that but that was the end of the crazy story
a crazy drama story that happened at the wedding. So as always, goodbye, my buds.